Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I am Priyanka, and in this episode, we'll share the recipe to plan a hot DR pattern for your application that's deployed on-premise. So, let's dive in. recap. In the last two episodes, we talked about Main Street Art that runs their applications on premise and are building a DR infrastructure on Google Cloud. They started with a cold DR plan and moved to a warm standby due to the need for lower RTO and RPO values. Well, now Main Street Art has become really popular and cannot afford to be down even for seconds, since their requirements is to achieve a near zero RTO and RPO values, the only way is by running HA architecture across their production environment and Google Cloud concurrently. Let's see how this works from the setup perspective. We create a VPC network. Then we configure the connectivity between the on-premise network and the Google Cloud network. We create custom images of the servers in Google Cloud with the exact same configuration as on-premise. Then configure the replication between on-premise database server and the one on Google Cloud. Remember that if your database systems permit only a single writable database instance when you configure replication, then you might need to ensure that one of the database replicas act as a read-only server. Create individual instance templates that use the images for the application server and the web server. Configure regional managed instance groups for the application and web servers. Then configure health checks using stack driver monitoring and load balancing using the regional managed instance groups. Configure a scheduled task to create regular snapshots of the persistent disk. And lastly, configure the DNS service to distribute traffic between your on-premise environment and the Google Cloud environment. With this hybrid approach, you need to use a DNS service that supports weighted routing to the two production environments so that you can serve the same application from both. In case of a failure on-premise, you just disable the DNS routing to the on-premise web server, and that's it. In most cases, the DNS service supports health checks and will automatically route all the traffic to the healthy servers on Google Cloud. And when it is all back to normal and can handle production traffic, we need to resynchronize the databases. If your database system doesn't automatically promote a read-only replica to be the writable primary on failure, you need to intervene to ensure that the replica is promoted. After ensuring that, just enable the DNS routing back to distribute traffic to both on-premise and Google Cloud. Well, there you have it. If you are running your application on-premise and are looking to achieve very, very small RTO and RPO values, then hopefully you learned how to approach recovering the environment from failure using Google Cloud Hot HA across the two environments. That's all for today on Get Cooking in Cloud. Here's hoping you are cooking up your own DR strategy. Join us next time and learn the recipe to implement disaster recovery for applications that are built on Google Cloud. If you like this video and would like to see more such content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.